Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. Uh, I am Toby Nixon, president of the Washington Coalition for Open Government. The coalition is a statewide, nonpartisan, nonprofit organization dedicated to <coughs> helping people protect their right to know what the government is doing, and also to expand uh, transparency and accountability in Washington State. Uh, we accomplish this through a variety of educational programs, uh, through inter interventions in the legislature and uh, the courts, and also through our award programs. And it's uh, with that latter purpose in mind that I'm with you tonight. Uh, a few weeks ago, the coalition, the coalition became aware through news media reports of uh, your mayor, Mike Anderson's actions at a meeting in August of the Skagit Council of Governments. The Skagit Valley Herald reported that the meeting was for the purpose of discussing uh, the qualifications of finalists for the uh, council's executive director position. Even though the Washington Open Public Meetings Act allows such discussions to be held uh, in executive session behind closed doors, the council was required to first convene an open public meeting uh, that had been properly noticed and then before going into the closed session, announce the purpose and expected duration of the closed meeting. Uh, when Mayor Anderson arrived, he realized uh, that the meeting had not been properly noticed to the public, uh, and he told the group that he believed that the meeting was in violation of the Open Public Meetings Act. He consulted with the city attorney by phone, uh, and then he returned and told the group that the attorney had said that indeed the meeting should have been uh, noticed at least 24 hours in advance, and that uh, a notice should have been posted outside the meeting room. Neither of those things had happened. According to the Herald, the other meeting attendees initially dismissed his concerns, uh, although the way the article was written, it sounded more like it was met with derision. Uh, and, uh, but then he left the meeting in protest and uh, uh, said that he would not want to be subject to the fine associated with violating the act. And uh, after he left, the meeting was adjourned and rescheduled for uh, another day uh, when proper notice could be given. So this may not be an act of valor uh, like what we just heard about, but it does, as you know, take a great deal of courage to stand up uh, to a body of your peers and, and defend the public's right to know. Uh, to tell them that the law needs to be obeyed, uh, especially when that group of people may have come from very long distances. Uh, it would have been very easy for Mayor Anderson to just go along instead of objecting. But open and transparent government doesn't happen on its own. It requires that citizens and public officials speak out when they see the law being ignored. Mayor Anderson did the right thing that day, and the coalition applauds his action. We recognize and encourage such courageous stands by mayors and members of councils, boards, and commissions throughout the state. And I am thus here tonight to present to Mayor Mike Anderson the Washington Coalition for Open Government's key award. The key is symbolic of uh, unlocking locked cabinets of records and unlocking the doors of closed meetings. It's also representative of the key contributions that the recipients make to protecting open government in Washington. The board of directors and members of the coalition congratulate Mayor Anderson and encourage others to follow his example. Thank you very much. Symbol on it, which you can wear proudly at all your meetings. <laughs> <laughs> 